Hey guys, I'm Paige Banana with Red Carpet Report in Hollywood for the season three premiere of You're the Worst. Paige, hey, nice to meet you. You look absolutely beautiful. Where is your dress? I need that. Um, it's vintage Burberry. Vintage Burberry. Ooh, look at that. Beautiful. I'm so sad I have to give it back. You have to give it back. I was going to ask if I could borrow I it. I want to steal it. Yeah, I mean, Hi, how are you? <laughs> how was Grease Live, by the way? Oh my God. Um, you did amazing. Thank you so much. It was honestly one of the best. Like, Because after doing You're the Worst, I don't know if any job could live up to this because this is a dream job. So, But going into Grease, so I was like, going to Grease, I'm like, oh, well, nothing's going to be as good as You're the Worst. But honestly, when I did Grease Live, I was like, this is the, the same amount of amazing. Like, it's been the most lucky year, and I'm so grateful. Like, it was just... One of the, I had the time of my life. That's amazing. I'm so happy for you. So, okay, in the season, we, we find out season two. You know, Lindsay's preggers. So, what, what's going on with her in season three? I mean, is she going to be making better decisions? Like, how? what's going on? <laughs> Lindsay's still Lindsay. Okay. Um, and uh, she, she's, she reaches a boiling point. Because her external life and internal life are so at odds with each other, and she's made this verbal commitment to move forward with Paul and have a baby, but on the inside, she really is dying on the inside and does have extreme reservations. Those two polar opposite things going on are bound to come to a head, and so uh, viewers will not be disappointed. Lindsay, still Lindsay, and does crazier things than artificially inseminating herself with a turkey. Okay, so so there's going to be a lot of shit happening. She is still Lindsay, even more so this season. That's amazing. I know you've said that like Lindsay is written in such like an honest and complex way, but yet she's still such a risque character. Like how can you relate to her in all her in all her entities? I relate to her because, you know, I, I'm a pretty impulsive, spontaneous person, and I think so is she. And anytime she does something quote unquote bad or that's considered the worst, I don't judge her. I just look at it like, well, she she's under a lot of stress right now. So yep, she artificially inseminated herself with a turkey. I mean it's not a weird thing to do. Like don't I, people do that? I just I just justify it with having compassion for where she's coming from and um and she, she just doesn't quite know how to handle things that are thrown at her okay. sometimes. Right. Awesome. Thank you so much. Best of luck with this season. Thank it's great so meeting much. you. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And if you like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more interviews, and let me know in the comments what's your favorite show on FX.